Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here on a BMW, guys. And if you have a BMW X1, guys, and you're trying to uh, test your alternator, guys, diodes, we'll show you guys how to do that. Now, we'll demonstrate on six-cylinder gasoline engine, but doesn't matter if you have four, six-cylinder, diesel, gasoline, okay, the procedure is practically the same for testing the alternator diodes, guys. What the alternator diode does, okay, uh, it lets, okay, the alternator voltage current to go only from the alternator to the battery one way guys and when you turn the car off okay it shouldn't go back in the alternator otherwise guys that alternator will actually guys discharge your battery when the car is sitting now in today's video we'll show you how to do that we have a good alternator a bad alternator and we'll compare both of them and explain how we know if it's good or bad uh, another thing guys quick introduction we will have more than 200 videos on every single car we get at the shop specifically on bmws we make close to 500 videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information if you guys need to buy a new uh, uh, alternator or the voltmeter that we'll be using to test it we'll share the links uh, in the description of the video below for your convenience so let me tell you guys what you need to do first before we start the test step number one disconnect your car battery okay now it's very important which terminal you disconnect first positive or negative if you do not know that okay we have a video that explains that for every car guys so i'll try to share the link in the description of the video below if not just uh, search on our channel or search for uh, which battery terminal to disconnect first now once you do that okay you're going to disconnect your 12 volt charging wire that's coming from the alternator that's going from the alternator to the car battery this wire right here you need to disconnect it that's why you needed to disconnect our battery so you, we don't cause any damage guys because if you touch that positive wire and the car battery is connected you will see sparks you can cause damage to the electrical system you can even catch your car on fire guys and you can do quite a bit of damage scanner that we'll be using right here guys this is it this is amazing scanner now if you're on the market for a good voltmeter check it out definitely guys worth the investment we go to the third setting right here okay one two second one actually click twice and we'll have the diode setting okay activate it okay let's pull the things okay and that's what it shows us now first this is the 12 volt charging wire on that alternator this is the casing which we'll use as a ground wire first touch the red on the casing black lead guys okay black lead on the charging wire what's happening we have a reading of 550 if you have a reading between 5 and 800 this is excellent then switch them put the red lead on the charging wire black on the casing you should get nothing guys at all absolutely nothing now let's demonstrate guys okay on the alternator that we have right here that's bad red on casing black on charging wire we get almost the same reading that's great but now when we reverse them that's when things go bad and we'll explain why check it out now okay we give it a good scratch now okay perfect and we have a reading guys of 1.8 and we should get no reading that's meaning guys that we have a bad diode so you get the idea when you put the black lead on the casing red on the terminal you should get no reading and when you put when you reverse them you should get a reading between five and eight hundred hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time